Hello guys, if you are new here, my name is Clara and you should totally subscribe. But anyways, for today's video, I am going to be waking up every single day for a week at 5 a.m. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers do this and I really want to try it just because I feel like it's productive and healthy to get like an earlier start to your day. But I wanted to try it so that you guys don't have to because that's a lot of work. I want to see if it actually like really works and makes your day more productive. So we're going to be getting up at 5 a.m. every day for a week and today it is Sunday night. So I'm going to be starting this tomorrow morning, Monday morning bright and early, so I'll see you guys then. Good morning, guys. It is Monday, 5 a.m. I have to whisper because the rest of my family is sleeping. My cat came to join me. <laughs> So I'm gonna read some of my books now. I got two books recently. I have this one, How to Win Friends and Influence People for Teen Girls, which is like, and really like teaches you about friendships and relationships. So I really love this book. But today, because of this whole video, I'm gonna be reading this book, which is called The Productivity Project. Basically this guy who, every like myth of productivity, he tries it to see if it really works and which myths work the best and today i'm going to be reading the chapter on waking up early and he woke up at 5 30 a.m and at the end of the video when i kind of do a breakdown of this whole entire experiment i'm going to talk about what i read in here too okay guys i finished reading a couple chapters and i wanted to read you guys a quote i think i'll do this every day so today's quote is working deliberately and purposefully throughout the day can make or break how productive you are Hello guys, I made myself a massive cup of tea, but now what I'm gonna do, I'm doing devotional on my phone through the Bible app. I've actually been really loving it. I'll read the Bible in a year, 2021. This is the one. I am just five days in, so I'm gonna finish it today. It basically devotional and like five Bible verses. So I'm gonna read it through those. finished my devotional what i'm gonna do is plan out the rest of this video and what i'm gonna do in the mornings just because i don't want to like do the same thing every morning i'm just gonna plan out the rest of the days of this video i'm pretty sure my cat just threw up so i'm gonna go check that out yep. Disgusting! i finished cleaning out my week and it's gonna be a very productive and exciting week Okay guys, so I'm now going for a walk by the pond by my house and it is currently 8.41 and my school starts at 9.30 so I have a little bit of time so I'm just going to go on a little walk. I have my AirPods in, I'm listening to worship music and just spending time in nature with God. My outfit is this sweatshirt that I thrifted and this necklace that I got from my friend, my gray Amazon sweatpants. Good morning guys, it is yet again. 5 a.m. in the morning. I gotta say though, like it's not as hard as I thought it would be. Like when the initial alarm goes off at 5 a.m., I kind of lay in bed for an extra minute. But once I get out of bed, it doesn't feel much different from waking up at like 6 or 7. I'm really surprised and I'm actually really energetic. But today, I think I wanted to try meditating because I've been reading about that in my book and it's supposed to be really productive and good for you.
Okay guys, so I came downstairs, but the one thing I don't like about 5 a.m. is there's so many creaks. Like everywhere you go, there's like creaks. I'm just gonna sit on my couch because it's very comfortable. My cat is behind me. Oh, there she is. <laughs> and I'm just gonna read my productivity book. I'm learning a lot from this book. I've learned a lot about meditation. Also, I wanted to tell you guys, if you don't know what meditating is, it just like kind of brings you this state of like calmness. You guys should look it up. It's super interesting and it feels great. I just did my meditation and I feel so clear and calm. Today's quote is, working on more aversive tasks is essential if you want to become more productive. Okay guys, so I'm now gonna go get in a quick run before my school starts. Today's outfit, I'm wearing this green sweatshirt from Obey, black leggings from Aerie, gold star necklace from Target. And now I have to get to school, so I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Good morning guys, it's Wednesday. 5.03 To be honest, today was like the hardest day probably for me to get out of bed Like I just did not want to get up at 5 a.m. But I had to for the video but For some reason today it was just like really hard to get out of bed Anyways today we are gonna try doing some gratitude journals So I'm gonna go get my stuff and walk downstairs Okay, so I got my tea to drink while I work on my gratitude journal and basically I think a gratitude journal is just a really good way to start your morning and just start it in a good place thinking of everything you're grateful for. So just list like five to ten things that you're grateful for. It can be recently or anything that ever has happened to you that you're grateful for. Okay, so after I finished my gratitude journal, I just read a couple of chapters of my book and today's quote is By controlling how much time you spend on a task, you can control how much energy and attention that you spend on it Okay guys, so I've come to my room now because it's a little less creepy than downstairs But now I'm just going to respond to some Instagram DMs um, So you guys should follow me on Instagram at it's Claire's YT. <laughs> Today's outfit, I'm wearing this white sweatshirt from H&M, this star necklace from Francesca's, and then my black airy leggings. Hey guys, today is Thursday. I take back everything I said yesterday. Today was by far the hardest day to get out of bed. Like I just probably laid in my bed for an extra like 10 minutes. I did not want to get out of bed today, but we did it, we did it for you guys. So for today, I have my Bible and I'm just gonna lay in my bed and read. Sometimes I like to just open my Bible to like random passages and just read chapters from there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna open it to like a random spot and read. Today's quote is, if you want to become more productive, managing your time should take a back seat on how you manage your energy and attention. Hello all and welcome to the last and final day of waking up at 5 a.m. I can talk louder now. I can't I don't have to whisper because my family is actually not home. They're all skiing. They left really early to go skiing. So it's kind of nice. I can turn the lights on. But for today I thought I would show you guys my skincare because I've gotten a lot of questions on what I do for my skincare so I think I'm going to show you guys that also I just wanted to say I am so excited that it is Friday this is the day I've been waiting for I am so ready to not have to wake up at 5 a.m because let's just be real it's not fun it's not fun getting up really early but let me go show you guys my skincare 
Welcome to my bathroom. I just want to do a disclaimer before I show you guys the products I use. Disclaimer. Everyone's skincare is different. I have seen a professional. I went to a dermatologist. I've gone to a dermatologist for a long time, but I highly recommend you guys go because everyone's skin is different and something that works for one person's skin might not work for yours. But let's get into what I use. So I have Proactive is the face wash I use morning and night. I really like it. Um, and then I use this in the morning. It's called Daspon Gel and it like kind of dries out your acne spots. You just put it on like your acne spots. At night I use tretinoin cream and then I use lotion in the morning. I use this, which has sunscreen in it because sunscreen, you should be wearing sunscreen actually every day, which I learned from my dermatologist because it can you can always get burnt even if it's not sunny outside. I don't know how that works, but look it up. <laughs> At night for my lotion, I use the CeraVe PM cream. I like to just kind of spot treatment after I do all that stuff. I use this and I just put it on like my acne spots and I think it works really well. And then I end my skincare routine, I always put Vaseline on my lips. Okay, the last quote of the week, this is an emotional time. Um, the last quote is, the kinder you are to yourself, as you become more productive, the more productive you will become. Hello guys, and thank you for watching this video. So before I end this video, I wanted to come on here and do a little recap of the week. And as you guys saw, I was reading this book called The Productivity Project by Chris Bailey while I was doing Waking Up at 5 a.m. I thought it kind of worked well together. And I want to tell you guys what I learned from this book and from waking up at 5 a.m. for a week. So the very first thing I learned, I think waking up at 5 a.m. is great, and, but I don't think I will continue to wake up at 5 a.m. just because I'm not really that much of a morning person. I think I'll probably wake up at like 6.30 to 7 a.m. Also, I would say that waking up at 5 a.m., it does make you feel productive getting stuff done in the morning. And if that's you, and you feel more productive when you get stuff done earlier I think that's great and you should totally wake up earlier but if that's not you and you can still be just as productive not getting up early I think that is totally fine too because a lot of people think waking up early gives them more hours in their day more time to be productive but that's actually not really true I think actually everyone has about the same hours in their day because if you wake up early you probably will be going to bed early and if you wake up late you're probably going to bed later so in general, you have about the same hours in your day, so it doesn't really give you an advantage to waking up early for having more hours in your day, but I do say that I really did like having hours to myself where the rest of my family is asleep because, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of nice just to be by yourself for a little bit of time. So that's mostly what I learned from this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down, subscribe down below. Okay, love you guys. Bye.